How's it going you guys? It's Will here and as you can see I'm playing Jurassic World Evolution right now. Now I recently went ahead and started playing Evolution again. Now this is Evolution 1 not Evolution 2. I haven't gotten around to getting Evolution 2 yet but maybe sometime in the future. It looks amazing. But Jurassic World Evolution the first one is still an amazing game as well you guys. I used to play this back when it first came out in 2018, 2019. Uh, got pretty far but then my game console crapped out on me. I had to get a new one. Ended up losing all my progress and for the longest time I was like I don't want to go through all this park building again but recently I started getting back into Jurassic World Evolution and I've just been having a blast with it you know the graphics of this game are still good still amazing makes you wonder why they haven't used these graphics to make like a Jurassic World like horror survivor game makes you wonder right but guys, recently I've been playing Jurassic World Evolution again, and I also recently bought and completed the Return to Jurassic Park DLC, which is basically where you go ahead and you fix up the original 1993 Isla Nublar Resort, and all around it was a real fun DLC, uh, but there were some problems, don't get me wrong, it was a hard DLC to complete. So guys, with the completion of the Return to Jurassic Park DLC, what I wanted to showcase in this video were the... Uh, exclusive uh, skins that you can unlock for your dinosaurs. These include 1993, 1997, as well as 2001 variants for your dinosaurs. Basically, you can make your dinosaurs look like skins from the original Jurassic Park trilogy, which is what I wanted. It was awesome. And for this video, I wanted to showcase the, these DLC skins for the Tyrannosaurus because who doesn't love a T Rex, right? So guys, I was really excited to unlock these. I know I'm late to the game for this, but hey, it's better late than never. And I was just really, really excited to showcase these. Alright guys, so here I am in sandbox mode. Honestly, I love sandbox mode because it allows you to have... It lets you do anything in the game. You get unlimited money. So as you can see here, I have three separate enclosures because you cannot have T-Rexes in the same enclosure because they will kill each other. So right here, we're doing our first skin. This is the 1993 skin. Now this is classic Jurassic Park right here, or as fans like to call her, classic Rexy. I still don't like that name. I don't know why that's a thing. <laughs> but here she is, and the damn sun's in our way. I have to admit though, they did a good job. Even though this game came out like two, a lot of that now, probably three, four years ago. 2018, 2019, it still looks good. Now, if only the sun would give us... Oh, there she goes. She's taking off. <laughs> now, apparently these DLC T-Rexes are remodeled from the ones in the base game. People say you really see it in the head. Well, if the sun would get out of the way, I could probably make it out. Here she is going. <laughs> but yeah, basically this is just classic 1993 Jurassic Park T-Rex right here. Looks really good, even though the Rexy skin is probably the most boring, it's probably not the most exciting, it does still look really good. You can see all the shades of brown, disease contracted, was the meat tainted? <laughs> yeah, even though Rexy's skin is just, you know, basic brown color, you can still some make out some striping, some different shades of brown. I have to say, it does look better than the base T-Rex skin that's in the game, the Null Gene, it does look better than that. And I guess this does look better than some of the other skins in the game, like Alpine and Coastal. Yeah, but moving on to our next skin right here, let's go to this paddock. We're looking at 1997 pattern. Now, I have seen these skins before in other videos, but this is my first time actually having them in my own game. So this should be fun. So 1997, this first pattern, I believe, is... Hold on, I think this is the one. Yeah, it is this one. Okay, so this pattern doesn't look exactly like the t-rex from lost world he's more of like a grayish almost comes off as looking bluish he's gonna roar for us is he yep there we go yeah this pattern looks a little bit off it's not a hundred percent lost world i mean the detail on it's really good like i said these dlc skins look a lot better than a lot of the skins that are already in the base game but oh look at the striping yeah, the coloration for this one is definitely off. It's not 100% Lost World. The striping on it looks really good, I would say. 
the stripes on the head going down the back. Now I have seen this skin in like l like different lighting, like when it gets like nighttime out or even at dusk. It does look a, lo a lot like the bull T Rex or the Buck Rex. I like the term Buck better. I don't know why people call it the bull. It looks very good in like darker lighting, but I don't know this coloration. It just comes off looking a little too blue. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of the T Rexes from Warpath Jurassic Park. Hey, that was a good game. So if they're tributing that good. But I don't think this is a 100% Lost World. I mean, people try to justify it, saying that it's supposed to represent the Rexes, how they look at the end of the film, like when they're sitting out in the field during the ending shots. I guess I can kind of see it, but this T-Rex, uh, it doesn't really do it for me as a buck Tyrannosaur. And now this next pattern, you guys. 1997 pattern A. I think this is more of what we expect from Lost World. Take a look. Yes, now this is the Tyrannosaur buck right here. This is what you expect when you think of that male T-Rex from Lost World. Is he gonna roar? Yes, that coloring looks awesome. Yeah, this is the one I was most excited to unlock. And I'm sure a lot of other people felt the same way when they first played this DLC. Because everyone loves the Lost World. Everyone loves that Tyrannosaur Buck when he rampages through San Diego. And they want to have that in their game. And now they can. Now the reason why I'm saying this is the Tyrannosaur Buck from Lost World and not the T-Rex from Jurassic Park 3 is if you just look at the coloring on him. Now the Tyrannosaur Buck from Lost World had a very an interesting color scheme I will say it had a lot of light green and dark green shading but it also had very distinctive yellow stripes which this coloration very much has so yeah the T-Rex from Jurassic Park 3 looks all it's very similar to this I definitely understand how why people get confused and think this could be the T-Rex from Jurassic Park 3 but when you look at pictures side by side, you can clearly see the differences between Tyrannosaur Buck from Lost World and Jurassic Park 3's Rex. Jurassic Park 3's T-Rex is mostly green. It's mostly like a light green with some dark green shading, but there's no yellow on it at all. It doesn't have that distinctive yellow that the full-grown Buck from Lost World has. Seriously, they did such a great job on this skin. This is hands down my favorite, as I'm sure it is. A lot of other people feel the same way. I'm sure a lot of people felt the same way when they first saw this. Yeah, drink up, big boy. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, this skin that's supposed to represent the Lost World Rex just looks incredible. It looks the best when you have, like, really nice sunlight on it because then you really get to see all the shades of green and, most importantly, those yellow stripes. But alright guys, I guess we'll go ahead and release the last two skins. Don't really have much to say about them, other than the fact that they're not what they're supposed to be. Let's take a look. I believe I have the one of them in here. Now it says 2001, but let me assure you, this is not the T-Rex you saw in Jurassic Park 3. Let's release it. Yeah, that is not the T-Rex from Jurassic Park 3. Like I said, the T-Rex from Jurassic Park 3 was a lot, like a light green with some dark green shading. Kind of like the bus that we just saw, but doesn't have those yellow stripes. This, if I had to guess, this is supposed to be the female Tyrannosaur from The Lost World. She has the same striping that the buck has, except she's a brown color. And if you look at that female T-Rex animatronic, from the Lost World, it looks very much like this color pattern, I would say. It's still a good skin, though. If the sun would do it justice. <laughs> it's still a good skin. Like I said, these skins are a lot better than the ones that are in the base game. And, yeah, it's definitely different, but it's not the Jurassic Park 3 T-Rex. Oh boy, they're gonna fight. Hold on, they might fight because I have two T-Rexes in an enclosure. <laughs> Alright guys, we have one more skin to look at, and then we'll come back to these two. So the last skin, you guys, I actually really like. It's called 2001A, but again, it's not a 2001 skin. But it might remind you of something very much like the Jurassic Park novel, maybe. 
You see this skin right here guys, this skin's kind of like a ugly brownish kind of red color and that's exactly how the T-Rexes are described in Michael Crichton's first Jurassic Park novel. Looks really good I have to say, I'm so happy they finally gave the novel some tribute in these games. We haven't really seen much of the T-Rex from the novel that much. There hasn't really been much depiction of it so the fact that we have one in Jurassic World Evolution this is really great. Yeah, I really, I really, really like this skin right here. Now, these two T-Rexes might start fighting as well, so I'll probably end this video off, you guys. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys these skins real quick, because I was just real excited to unlock them. So, I just hope you guys were to see them as well. Oh, God. Now, these two are going to fight. <laughs> Alright. Meanwhile, how about before I end this video off, let's go check out this T-Rex again. This lone 1997 T-Rex. Now this one, even though he says he's from 1997, I just really don't see it, but it's still a really great skin nonetheless, you know? It's better than a lot of the base skins that are already in the game. Like, I'll definitely use this skin over like Alpine or something, or Wetland, and oh boy, my other Rexes are fighting. <laughs> I do have to say though, that, oh god, he got scars. See, now he's the bull T-Rex, or the buck. I like the term buck, I don't really understand why people call him the bull, because in the movie, Roland Tembo says he wants to hunt a buck. Not a bull, so. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm rambling on now. I'm just going to head out of here. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. I wanted to make some more Jurassic World content because, hey, Jurassic World Dominion is coming up soon. So I wanted to go ahead, maybe play some games, maybe make some Jurassic Park discussion videos. Let me know what you guys want to see. That, bull, that buck T-Rex though, man. It looks incredible. Let's go ahead and give you guys one last look at these T-Rexes. God damn, look at them. They're fighting each other. I knew they were fighting. Then we got our oh, our one good T-Rex. This he's all by himself. I understand. Leave me alone. Did these two kill each other over here? I'm really digging this one right here. This 100% represents what the T-Rex looked like in the novel. My screen's glitching, I apologize for that. <laughs> but yeah, this DLC was just hella awesome. So this is why you cannot have more than one T-Rex in an enclosure, you guys, because they don't like it. You can get away with it in Evolution 2, but in Evolution 1, they don't like it and they will break out. Look at this is sandbox mode, so they won't do any harm, but yeah.